We are headed to the lake. It's cold. We're lucky to see snow. Let's see what the temperature is. It's saying that it is 61. It feels 59. It's a little windy, but he's got a wetsuit on, so he should be all right. It's just a little chilly. Not sure how many people wear a wetsuit with tennis shoes and socks. But that's Keith. I'm not sure if you can see that, but the water temperature is 74. Yeah, move faster than that. Let's go, you're 28 seconds. Let's go. Done. 33s. 60. All right, so I had 48 the other day. That's good. You're getting better. So, I'm getting better. That's it. All right, so we are at Bob Evans, and I got something very boring, three scrambled eggs and a bowl of grits and some toast. What'd you get? A Belgian omelet with ham, onions, mushrooms, bell pepper, and cheddar cheese, I believe that's all that's in there, and some fresh fruit. It's very fresh. Okay, that bacon should be out for you in just So we're going to eat this, okay, thank you. and we're going to go to the trail.
supporting me. I love you. Turkeys are running. They know it's Thanksgiving. Gabba, gabba, gabba. All right, we're at Mojo Federals. We're gonna get something to eat. And we'll see what it looks like in a few minutes. So we just got done with Mojo's. So we're gonna be finishing up the video here. So today was a very long training day. Thursday was, uh, I don't know, 1200 yard swim, 24 minutes. So like 12 minutes over, 12 minutes back at Lucky's Lake Kane in Orlando, Florida. Uh, that part went pretty good. I feel like I, I'm gonna say that today felt like race day. Reason being, it was 61 when I hit the water. The water temperature was 74. And it was pretty cold. Now, I did have a wetsuit on and my wetsuit kept my body pretty warm I uh, had a real, real small cramp in my left leg, but it, it worked itself out. So, I really had a technical tip for today for the swim part. The TT for today is going to be sight, sighting, sighting buoys. So, the way I work it, and... I really feel like this works for me. So what I do is I swim towards the buoy and then I go to the left of it. I swim to the next buoy, go to the left of it, and then go to the next buoy and go to the left of it, left of it, so on and so forth. And at the whole time, I'm, like I said, open water swimming versus pool swimming I'm breathing two strokes breathing two strokes a lot of times I try to keep my head down and not you know go to the to the left after the two strokes try to keep four strokes and then breathe to the to the left I never have been able to breathe to the right for some strange reason I think I did it on accident one time in a pool and I was like I got all kind of discombobulated from my swimming. Well, the bike part went really good. I think it was my best. And I was thinking about this too. The bike part, I've been training on a road bike. I got this really nice road bike with some zip wheels on it. It weighs about, I don't know, eight or nine pounds. It's really light. So I've been training with that and really like pushing myself. So today, I got on the aero bars all the way from Groveland to Arbendale, and then Arbendale to Lakeland. I think it was like 45 miles and two hours and 45 minutes. So I'm right there at the three hour mark where I wanna be at. If I, if I would've went to, you know, 56 miles. So I'm just trying to, you know, gauge it just right where it's, it's gonna work out where it's under three or a little over three, I'll just, you know, kind of play with it and, you know, see what I can do. Uh, but no, 
down the arrow bars. Everything went good. I had to get up a couple of times. Uh, my butt went to sleep, and then my my shoulders and my arms right here were getting a little tired. So I'll say that down on them 95% of the time, and it it felt great. I was really really pleased with the ride today. I think it was one of my best training rides ever. And then I was kind of torn about a brick. I'm like, let me do a brick. Let me do the run off the bike, the ROTB. And I'm like, no, let's just save that for another time. Because every time I've been doing a long ride, I've been running off the bike. So I'm like, let me just cut that out this time. You got to change your training plan up. You can't stay consistent with the same old training plan. You have to change it up. I keep saying that. You have to, you have to, you have to. Because it's going to make you a better athlete. That's what I'm going for. And then I got about 25 days. So what's that? 7 times 3, that's 21. So a little over 3 weeks. So once I get to... Probably the 11th week of training, I'm going to start tapering off. And what that simply means is you cut back your training, that way your muscles can recoup, you can rebuild, you know, a little bit lower training uh, sessions. Well, it was a full day. Tomorrow's gonna be weight training, core training, strength training, whatever you wanna call it. And I'm pretty excited about that. You guys know that's my favorite thing to do of the week. Well, thank you for watching. Please hit that little like button, little thumbs upper. Also, do the subscribe button, that's important too. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Have a happy, happy Thursday. Train safe.